In this video, we're going to talk a little bit more about equilibrium constant expressions, and in particular, how to write them. So you saw a little bit of this before, but in general, if you have your general chemical equation, and this is usually how we write this, it's an equilibrium. This is why we have the double arrows going forward and backwards. And here that the lower case letters, the little a, little b, little c, and little d, those are the coefficients, the numbers in front of the, the formulas. And the capital letters are the compounds, the formulas, capital A, capital B, capital C, and capital D. Now, there might be, you know, like A, B, and C on the left and just D on the right, or just one thing on the left, one thing on the right, you know, but this is the general form. And okay, the general form of the equilibrium constant expression, Kc, is always the concentrations of the products to the powers of their coefficients. So the concentration of compound C raised to the little c, d to the d, over the reactants, a to the a, b to the b. Now when you're doing this, you're, you're going to need to know, and you'll be given, the, um, the phase you know, of the compounds, aqueous, gaseous, solids, or liquids. And the reason that's important is that if it's a solid or a liquid, you just leave it out. Just don't write it. Just write everything else or anything else that there is. So we call that a heterogeneous equilibria if there's a solid or a liquid and aqueous or gas. I'll show you one of those in just a minute, but let's do an example. So let's say we have this chemical equation. It's an equilibrium, and we want to write down Kc. Remember, it's products over the reactants, each raised to the powers of their coefficients. So the products are carbon disulfide and oxygen. Now, remember, we don't write ones if they're the coefficient or a superscript. So it'll be the constant on the top of the Kc, the products. We have the concentration of carbon disulfide to the first power, which we don't write. Concentration of oxygen to the fourth power. That's what this four is here. On the bottom, in the denominator of Kc, concentration of sulfur trioxide to the second power times the concentration of carbon dioxide to the first, which we don't write. Here's, an e here's a, a heterogeneous equilibrium. So let's say we have the decomposition of calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate's a solid, and it ends up that it decomposes in an equilibrium reaction to calcium oxide, which is also a solid, and carbon dioxide gas. Well, remember, we don't write solids or liquids. So the only thing that's not a solid or liquid in this case is the carbon dioxide gas. So Kc is just the concentration of carbon dioxide raised to the power of its coefficient, which is just one, just like that. 